The interesting thing I realized writing the X-Men is I always had a sense of where I was going. With Dark Phoenix, Jean had the greatest power imaginable. And how's she going to deal with that? And that was the thing I learned, I guess, from Stan. Mm -hmm. You know, actions have consequences. They do. That was always in the back of our mind. We wanted to demonstrate what she could do, and she ended up saving the universe. We wanted her to be the heart and soul of the team. And we also wanted to put Scott in this place. His work is so character-oriented, and mine is so character-oriented. I think that's one of the reasons that we're very simpatico. The key was creating characters who were as relevant and real to the audience as I could make them, put them in situations that everybody could identify with and recognize. When I started with Marvel, I was in school. My parents knew Al Jaffe, and he said, oh, does he have any interest in comic books? And the next thing I know, the phone rings, and I pick it up and say, hey there, true believer, this is Stan Lee. And I'm going, wow. So I hear you want to work for Marvel Comics. Yes. Stan had a mantra. There are three rules. Get your book in on time, make sure it's good, don't be a pain in my ass. Any two out of three, you got to keep your job. In Dark Phoenix, Jean found herself wrapped up in a series of circumstances that she was unprepared for. She makes a moral choice, and for better or worse, that's the only way she can find to make amends for what she's done. Jean was his total favorite, I think partly because he had given her such a hard time through so many issues, and he'd seen how strong she could be. For me as a writer, I want them to fall in love with these characters. I want them to see them as real echoes or parallels with their own lives. Dark Phoenix is the ultimate expression of the darkest shadow in everyone's soul. And there you go.